Hello and welcome everyone to this new video. We're going to be testing uh, the newest version of the uh, working title NXI G1000 in Microsoft Flight Simulator that has been just released today with Sim Update 6 uh, featuring missed approaches and different types of uh, RNAV approaches and today I was thinking that it would be a good opportunity to test the missed approaches feature with a very interesting uh, approach uh, into uh, Van Nuys, the ILS Zulu runway 16 right. And the reason is, is that the mist is quite tricky. The mist approach here, you're going to be on final approach course, okay, coming in and uh, f uh, descending uh, on the glide slope, and then the, the mist instructions at uh, the minimum on the missed approach point it says climb to cross uh, Van Nuys uh, uh, view R 1.5 DME south of Van Nuys view R at or below 1750 okay so we're gonna have to have control over the altitude ourselves then a climbing lift turn to 4600 and the Van Nuys view uh, uh, radial 152 to Hervey uh, and then, uh, as you can see here, here's the depiction. So this is the first turn, and this is the radial, 152, until you get to Hervey, and Hervey is 8 miles DME. Then after that, direct to Santa Monica view R, and then you need to uh, intercept radial 267, uh, outbound, out of the Santa Monica view R. So let's read this again. So climbing to cross uh, 1.5 Van Nuys uh, view R, 1.5 DME south of the view R, at or below 1750, the climbing left turn 4600, and the 152 radial out of the Van Nuys view R to Hervey, which is at 8 miles DME from Van Nuys. Then you turn direct to the Santa Monica view R. Then you intercept the Santa Monica radial 267 uh, outbound, and then which is also uh, radial uh, from Ventura, radial 087 inbound to Ventura view R and hold. So, okay, so this is going to be a good test for the missed approaches uh, new feature that's been added to the G1000 NXI by the working title team. So let's put that to the test. So we're going to do this with live EDC on um, the Pilot Edge network. Uh, so we're going to log in and we'll be back in a second. Alright, so now we are in the aircraft and we are connected to Pilot Edge. So first thing we're going to do is obviously grab the ATIS and we're going to call in for our IFR clearance. It's going to be a simple clearance obviously, uh, I mean out and into Van Nuys, uh, pretty simple. But let's go ahead now and grab the ATIS. Van Nuys Airport, ATIS Information Sierra, 1751 Zulu, wind variable at 3, visibility 10, sky condition, clear. Temperature 17, 2.7, altimeter 3006, arriving and departing runways 16 left, 16 right, visual approaches in. Alright, looks like the temperature, outer temperature is picking up right through the altimeter. We need to set that right now, it's 3006, and here we go, 3006, and it's giving us an airfield elevation of, well, about 780, 770, and supposed to be about 800 feet. That's fine because we could be at a part of the airport where it's not the airport reference point, so it's not an issue. All right, in that case, now we have uh, Van Nuys ground, and we can call them up as a class Delta and grab our clearance. Van Nuys ground, uh, down until Alpha Delta, Alpha Juliet, uh, instruments to Van Nuys was here. Delta Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet Van Nuys Ground to the Van Nuys Airport. Fly heading 110. Expect right away to Van Nuys VOR direct. Climb and maintain 4000. Departure 134.2. Squawk 5116. Clear to Van Nuys. Departure 5110. Heading right away to Van Nuys. Then direct. Climb and maintain 4000. Departure frequency 34.2. Uh, squawk 5116. Delta Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. Delta Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. Rebound correct. All right, looks like we got our clearance. 
amazing staff at uh, Pilot Edge. Guys are just like, just like the real thing. It's amazing. All right, good. So now we're going to set up our avionics. All right, so we start with our frequent. I like to start from top to bottom. Uh, on COM2, I like to have my ATAS on ground, which is already set up. And on COM1, I like to have tower and uh, departure frequency. This way, I just I get to the holding point, go to COM1, I'm, I'm ready to go. So Van Nuys Tower, and we're going to be taking off runway 16 right, obviously, is 119.3, because we're close to runway 16 right. Uh, we are at Signature West. Uh, if you look here, just to show you, I'm going to zoom in. Um, actually, we can come in in the plates and do an import and put the Van Nuys, and here's the airport. Yeah, we're right here at uh, Signature West, as you can see the aircraft. <coughs> All right, anyway, so back to the frequencies again. Uh, Van Nuys Tower for 1.6 right. It's going to be 119.3. So I'm going to put on COM1, 119er. Here we go, change that. Move also this guy. Here you go, 119.3. Good, that's active, that's tower. And from the clearance, we got departure frequency 134.2. So I put that, go backwards faster, 134.2. Here we go. So the frequencies are set. Next thing, altitude. Set to climbing T in 4,000. All right. So we set 4,000 on that NXIM for our target altitude. Altimeter set, 3006. And need to put the flight plan and put the transponder code. Transponder code 5116. Going to go ahead now put that in. Transponder code 5116. Alt. Very good. So we go back now. We'll go ahead now and work on the flight plan. Very good. So I'm going to put the origins Van Nuys. And I like to use the keyboard feature. It makes it faster. K V N Y. Good. Enter. Well, okay. Let's go ahead and pick runway one, uh, one six right. Even though it's not necessary for departure. And then we put. Um, Raider Victors to Van Nuys. He's gonna. He's not gonna give us that anyways. Because I'm gonna request, but I'm gonna put it in the root because he said Van Nuys. We just keep it here. Enter. And destination is going to be Van Nuys. K V N Y. Very good. All right. Enter. Okay. We're gonna request one six right anyways. Enter. Okay, in that case, we're going to pick the procedure, select approach. I'd like to get the ILS Zulu 16 right. And yeah, we can pick vectors because we're going to ask for vectors. Uh, the, the actual minimum for this approach, if we can look at the chart real quick, the minimum here is 1095. All right, so we put that. Okay, there you go, it's fast. 10.95 for the Zulu. Henderson ground, Cessna 281 Golf X-ray on the ground near the Fox Trot. Uh, taxi Load. with X-ray. November 21, Alpha X-ray, Henderson ground, runway 35 left, taxi via Alpha. 35 left via Alpha, Twit 1, Golf X-ray. And you'll see that automatically that uh, Van Nuys, the localizer frequency 111.3 has been tuned in. We can check also on the CDI. We'll see, well, I don't see the final approach course actually being, um, it's not the right, uh, uh, right course being selected. I can set that up just in case, but it should be set automatically when it switches once you activate the actual approach. But just to be on the safe side, I'll do that. And the final approach course 
from the charts is 164. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, set it to 164. All right. Nah, just anyways, we're good here. Come back in, CDI. All right, so he said departure fly hitting 110. All right, so in that case, I'll set the heading bug to 110 quickly. So that's it already. So hey, looking at this right here, guys, he, he, I, this is how you set up your avionics. You go from top to bottom. Comps, good. Altitude, good. Altimeter, good. The fly plane, good. The transponder squawk is good. Check the nav frequencies, good. You know, everything is good here. And you come back here, check if you want to zoom in or zoom out. Uh, it should be here, the fly plane with all the restrictions and everything else. We're going to ask for vectors for uh, uh, ILS. 1, 6, right? I'll just Zulu 1, 6, right? I'm going to get vectored. And then we're going to go to the mist. Now, let's check out the mist here. Okay, so the mist here. Here's the FAF. Here's Mr. Fort Point. 1.5 DME. You're supposed to turn according to the chart. Let's compare this one now to the chart. Bring the chart back over here. And it's ground we we'll call X-ray request flight following to Laughlin at 5,500. 1.5 DME. Put this a little bit to the left. And then we're going to go to Hervey. I want to go off X ray to the airport. Then SMO. Uh, Laughlin, uh, India Fox Papa. Okay. Go to Flat Plan. And click here. And we're supposed to be able to see the points. Well, Gulf X ray departures, Woman 8.4, Squawk 6560. Okay, here we go. Missed approach zero. point. Three, one, go, Read back, Chris. Thank you. I keep zooming in and out. Missed approach point. Okay, it's 1.5 DME. Okay, I keep uh, turning the wrong knob. Hold on, clear, clear. Okay, big knob. Hurry. Santa Barbara Tower, arrow two two looks right. Eight miles east. SMO. Inbound full stop with Papa. Wow. Okay, looking good. So it looks like it's sequence Number is three properly. Five, ten, uh, two two three five Tango Santa Barbara Tower. Runway one five left to left base clear to land. Left base for one five left clear to land arrow three five Tango. The only thing we need to worry about here, just to make sure, is that altitude. It's kind of tricky. Is it at or below seventeen fifty? Okay, 1.5 DME south, and that is that point right here, the 1.5 DME south. We need to be at 1750. Then we continue the climb after that to 4600. So I don't want to set anything higher than that altitude initially, so I don't get in trouble. All right, looks good. All right, so it looks like we're good now, and we can ask for taxi. All right, so we go back to ground. I would like also, that's why I have the ATIS frequency set up on COM2. reason is, just right before I taxi, just make sure, again, I still have Sierra. No surprises there, you know? Zulu, wind variable at three. One sec. There you go. Mission clear. Temperature one seven. Two point seven. Altimeter three zero zero six. Arriving and departing runways one six left, one six right. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Sierra. Still Sierra. We're good to go. Let's go back ground again, and we ask for taxi. Van Nuys Ground, the Diamond Tail Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet at Signature West, 3D Taxi with Sierra. It's Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet to Van Nuys Ground, runway 16 right taxi via Alpha Charlie. 16 right via Alpha Charlie, you tell Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet taxi. Alright, taxi light on. Alright, looking that way, I think we're facing. Okay, we're facing southwest. Makes sense. I'm gonna make a make a left turn. All right, squeeze the brakes.
All right, we're getting close now to Charlie. One six right at Charlie. It's the next right here. That's it. That's all the point. Good. I'll get the aircraft ready. Hold lights on. P2 heat on. Uh, I'm not going to use the fuel pumps. I'm assuming. I'm treating it like a DU-42. Generally, power 535 T delta, 1.8 miles. Uh, November 5352 delta, San Louis Tower. Uh, you want to call me before you enter my airspace. You're a mile from my runway. If I had someone there, that'd be a big problem. Runway 11, clear to land. 11, clear to land, 535 T delta. All right, so now I'm going to switch to COM1, that's it, because I have uh, tower ready, and I have departure frequency 134.2 ready. I found you Delta, are you aware of the airspace that you're in? Yes, but I didn't hand it off, and I didn't realize that I could contact you directly, 5352 Delta. Get calm. Come here, tower. One answer number five eight seven echo four three point five miles to the west, in, in, inbound to land with Bravo. Now we gotta wait not to step over someone else. We're ready to make our call. <clears throat> five eight seven echo five. Should camera tower on me two six. Clear to land. Runway 26, clear to land, 7 echo faster. Los Angeles Tower, United 1180 Heavy, ILS 25 left. 1180 Heavy, ILS Tower, over 25 left, clear to land. 25 left, clear to land, United 1180 Heavy. Very nice tower, uh, Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha, at uh, holding short 16 right. Delta Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. Hotel Alpha Delta, Alpha Julia Van Ass, Tower, runway 16 right, clear for takeoff. One six right, clear for takeoff. Tell off that off Alright, approach sector clear. Right side clear. Full power. I'll take a power set. The five three five two down. Speed alive. Via alpha with this frequency. And uh, yeah, and um, so green. due to the serious nature of these deviations, I am going to recommend that you do officially look at our pilot training program for the CAT VFR ratings. It's available on the pilot's home rotate. page under the pilot center link. Oco and taxi alpha to parking, 5352 Delta. Positive rate, gear up, lights off, set, autopilot on. And 400 feet EGL, I'm going to turn the heading. Okay, about 1200, and now it's heading. Turn left and switch that to flight level change. That's good now. I'm hitting 110, climbing 4000. That's it. Now he's going to ask us what approach request we have. That's the first thing he's going to ask us because we're short flight. We should contact departure soon. I have to take off checklist, lights off, gear up, no lights, flaps up, uh, climb power set, engine special green, I have to take off checklist completed. AJD, AJ, connect departure. Over to departure, to the top of Juliet, we'll see you. Okay, calm one, switch. South Cal departure, good morning. Diamond tail off, the top of Juliet, 3,800, climbing 4,000. We have Sierra, request vectors for Alice 16, right, Zulu. Caution, upcoming TFR ahead. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, so called departure, radar contact, turn left heading 350, Vectors Island, Zulu runway 16 right approach, climbing maintain 5000. 
Left heading 350, climbing team 5000, and just for your information, we'll intend to go missed as published. So, turn off that over here, thanks. Alright, left 350, set the heading, and we'll set the altitude to 5000. And we'll go. Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet, continue right turn, heading at 300. I believe you meant left turn, I continue 300, turn off that object. Okay, approaching target altitude. And captures uh, target altitude pretty good. And now we're being vectored for the ILS, okay? So th what that means? That's it, procedure activate vectors to final. Okay, you activate approach. I have no idea why it's doing this. But uh, we should switch in the CDI. Here we go. 164, localizer. I'm being vectored to intercept this guy. That's it. In the real G1000 units, there's activate vectors to final when automatically it takes it changes the CDI from magenta to the nav 1 or the nav 2 with the localizer frequency is tuned with the final course approach course uh, set for you. And now we, all you need to do is just follow HC's instructions. They give you headings, they give you uh, altitude, you follow that until you are cleared. Uh, on a final heading to intercept, it could be just a, be, it could be an instruction just to intercept the localizer. It could be cleared for the ILS itself, and I'm going to explain the difference uh, when we get to to that point. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, turn right heading three five zero. Right heading three five zero to Alpha Delta Juliet. That's it. Change the heading box. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Julia, turn right, heading is 080. Right heading 080, Alpha Delta Alpha Julia. Okay, you can slow down a little. Give yourself some time. Right heading 080. DME and went option three. Wind is just jumping. A gust or what's going on? Okay, just for backup, let's put the Van Ice uh Van Ice one one three point one. We'll put down as backup and nav one. And on F2, we'll put the Santa Monica VR, which is 110.8. 110. 0.8. That's good. Okay, let's slow down now, give ourselves some time for the interceptions. Both Alpha Delta Alpha Julia, turn right, heading 130. Right heading 130 to Alpha Delta Alpha Julia. That's the interception heading. And Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, six and a half from Furry, maintain 5,000 until established a localizer, clear the island, Zulu runway 16, right approach from missed uh, approach planning, just execute the missed approach procedure as published. Runway 25,000. 5,000 tail steps on local logic, Triple Alice 16 right Zulu approach, and we'll execute the message published till after the top of your Thanks. Alright, in that case, you should maintain 5,000 until established on the localizer. Alright, I now have been cleared for the ILS approach, okay? And I'm gonna now press approach.
There's that leg completely on that heading. Momo 130 heading. Interesting. Nah, I'm gonna turn left a little. Oh, it wouldn't push me. That was not a good heading to intercept for sure. Now I'm missing the localized slope. I can't descend because he's 17, 5,000 until established on the localizer. Which means I'm going to have to come down a little. Long golf action, Roger. Localizer is here, and I have to descend now because the glass slope is not going to come. Here you go. Gotta get it to me. Okay, localizer should get captured soon. Ah, here we go. That's it, we're good now. We caught it. I was a little tight. Sound of the head and bug. I'm gonna go missed anyways, and I'm not gonna put the gear down or anything. Blue Tower Alpha Delta Alpha Julie, contact Van Nuys Tower 119.3. 119.3, you tell Alpha Delta Alpha Julie, see you in a bit. One golf x-ray, bullhead on. When I tower down until Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet on the ILS 16 right Zulu with the intention of going missed. This went really serious, like 20 knots. Where did that come from? What's Alpha Delta? Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha J Van Ness, Tower Runway 16 right, uh, cleared, low approach. 16 right, cleared, low approach. I apologize for the call sign. <laughs> nah, my head's just cloudy this morning. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <laughs> okay, here we go. Put 1750 on the altitude now. I'll put 17 on 1750 below. There we go. Alright, minimum. Alright, I'm going around. Could you do that about it? Full climb up, positive rate. Gear up. Lights off, lights up, and where is the suspend button? Suspend, here we go. Change the CDI now, and bring it back to autopilot. Yeah, 1700 is going to stop. And F. Here we go. Got to catch the 1700 initially. That's the left turn. Beautiful. At or below, we passed it already. Now we continue climbing to 4600. Forty six hundred indicated airspeed. Here we go. And we're going to Harvey. Then I tower to the top of the on the published mist. Alpha Delta, Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha, Julia, contact SoCal departure, 134.2. 34.2, Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet. Man, her V 
Harvey's here. So far, the autopilot is executing nicely. Look at that. South Gulf departure, Delta Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha Juliet, on the published mess, 26 right, Zulu, out of NIs. Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha Juliet, South Gulf departure, Roger, one able, same intentions. Welcome to Alpha, Delta Alpha Juliet. So climbing to 4600, and it's following exactly the mass procedure. Going to, um, as you can see here, is going to um, Hervey. Yep, and then it's going to turn direct to Santa Monica. Here's the 4600 altitude, it's been captured. Very good. Okay, now it's supposed to be direct Santa Monica, and we are turning direct Santa Monica. And that she is going to capture the radio, uh, radio two six four, I think it was two six seven. Yeah, radio two six seven out of Santa Monica to Ventura. So we'll see how this. Uh, so far, so good. Impressive. guys doing a beautiful job so far and uh, it's a tricky mist once we uh, catch uh, radial uh, 267 uh, outbound out of Santa Monica I'm gonna call him back and tell him okay well uh, would like to request vectoring for ILS 165 Zulu again and that's pretty much it. And from there, uh, the test is complete and you go come back to land. Because uh, turning right nicely to capture that uh, outbound radial. Wow, great job! Well, I mean, you gotta you gotta give kudos to uh, the working title team. That's for sure. All right, we're good now. I'm gonna call them up and say uh, we'd like to request vectoring again for Alice Zulu. South Cal uh, approach uh, down until Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. I'd like to request uh, vectors for Alice One Six Right Zulu again. Full stop this time. Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha, Julia, Roger, turn right, heading 340, maintain 5,000, vectors ILS approach. Right, heading uh, 340, uh, climbing team 5,000, Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha, Julia. Okay, so switch to heading.
Flight heading uh, 340. There you go. And 5000 on the altitude. And that's indicated your speed and increase the power. That's it. Wow, that was extreme. That's it, it should come down now. I should just get vertical speed, yeah, that was a little bit, uh, my bad. Alright, now we're being vectored for the ILS. What did that tell you? Alright, well, I just need to go back again to the CDI with the uh, localizer course 164 into, uh, into Van Nuys, and we're good to go. That's it. Being vectored now. Back for the ILS. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, turn right, heading 070. Right, heading 070, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, turn right. I'll slow down the aircraft now. I'm getting some crazy wind up here. Gusting. That's going to be a better vector. Alpha Delta Alpha July, you're four and a half miles from Janat. Turn right, heading 130. Maintain 5000 until established on the localizer. Could ILS Zulu runway 16 right approach. All right, heading 130, team 5000 until established on localizer. Clear to ILS 16 right, Zulu approach. Tell Alpha Delta Alpha Here's the turn. And I can press approach now. Let's we'll see if the aircraft lights are working. So why not come here? And change the time. Make it dark. Yep, they are working. See? That's a full moon, too. I see the other aircraft. Right there. That's nice. Alright, should capture since I have everything armed. And should have, uh, here's the aircraft on my left. Actually, two aircraft on my left. You can see them. So that's also good. Means the air other aircraft uh, lights uh, problem with the update uh, has also been fixed. Okay, localizer uh, alive and uh, capturing with the uh, autopilot. Look at the stars. Okay, localizer established. Last look alive. Now wind, 33 knots. <laughs> Glass loop uh, established and captured. There you go now, gotta come down. Now I need to check a couple of things here that are weird with regard to Give the options, bearing two, yeah, I have a distance, okay. Ten and a half miles, good. Okay, we're good. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, contact Van Nuys Tower, 119.3. 119.3, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, we'll see ya.
Venice Tower, Diamond Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet, and Alice, uh, 16 right, Zulu, full stop. Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet, Van Nuys Tower, wind calm, runway 16 right, clear to land. 16 right, clear to land, Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet. Wind calm. Why do I get 22 knots here at 3,000 feet? Afternoon, welcome right. to the power Lights on. Gear down. Bring it back to 139. Make go flaps. Walker 380. Yeah. Folsom ground clear to the Provo Airport. Anaheim 1 departure, Hector transition, that is filed. Climb and maintain 2000. Departure frequency 128.1. Squawk 1346. Crew to the Provo Municipal Airport, Anaheim 1. Departure to Hector, then asphalt, maintain 2000, 128.1, squawk 1346, Walker 380, hello. Walker 380, you back, correct, hello. All right, landing checklist, lights on, gear down, three greens, flaps, uh, flaps take off. Yeah, Provider trim neutral, park brake released, power set, clear to land, runway checklist completed. Just have my call outs here. Wind uh, getting calmer? Yeah, it's reducing, okay. I'm curious what METAR is being pulled right now. Here, no, okay, clear. Yeah, there's no wind is calm, so it should be calm now. Coming down. Two mile final runway one six right. Okay, 1,000 above, stabilized. Five hundred to minimum, clear to land. Five hundred. And I'll continue. Parking. Exit on the next one. Okay, P2 heat off. Flaps up. Fullerton ground, runway 24, taxi via Alpha. 24 via Alpha, Walker 380. Alright, landing light off.
When I start, I'm going to tell Alpha that Alpha Juliet clear a 1 6 right at Kilo, uh, request taxi to Signature West. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, taxi to parking via Alpha and remain in frequency. Good day. Alpha, remain in frequency, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. Good day. Okay, and that's uh, Signature West right here. Very good. That's it. All right, so folks, that was it. Missed approach in the NXI now. Missed approach is working just fine, at least after testing this one. And uh, other aircraft lights are working just fine, so that's great. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.